Innovations are also being developed using connections that operate on a microscopic scale. How can a tiny and popular ocean creature go from being dinner to saving millions of lives a year? One of the most abundant creatures in the ocean has hidden properties that could save millions of lives each year. Shrimp exoskeletons contain a natural binding agent. Daniel Kraft is going to investigate how scientists are making use of it for a new blood clotting agent by tinkering with connections on a molecular scale. Car crashes kill over 30,000 people in the U.S. every year. Many of those deaths happen because of the time it takes for first responders to reach the scene and get victims to the hospital. I'm here at the University of Maryland in a suburb outside of Washington, D.C., to meet a team taking technology from nature, optimizing it for a new solution to bleeding and trauma. The use of crustacean shells in human healing was discovered in the early 2000s. But this lab is taking it to a new level. The developers are bioengineers Matt Dowling and Professor Srinivasa Raghavan. Great to meet you. Uh, we started talking to doctors at the medical school in Baltimore, and they were telling us about how current hemostatic bandages that are designed to stop bleeding are not very effective. Uh, and the aha moment came a couple of years later when Matt came on board. Matt and Srinivasa study nanoscale gelling properties of polymers. Uh, at, it's at that time that we said, let's put two and two together. We have a material that works on cell-like structures. Uh, could this also work on blood? The exoskeletons produce a material called chitosin. These bioengineers have found a way to enhance its natural properties by adding tiny filaments to it that create a nanoscale mesh when mixed with blood that then leads to a clot. So this is your lab? Yes, this is our lab, and this is Kytosan, which is the basis for hemogrip. So here we're going to take that same powdered Kytosan that I just showed you, uh, and we're going to dissolve it up in a beaker uh, to get our reaction going. And after this, we're going to add a small amount of weak acid to it. Kytosan requires slight acidity to dissolve in water. It takes quite some time to dissolve fully, so uh, in the right-hand side, we have an already dissolved beaker of chitosan. Into that, we're going to add reagents that turn, transform the regular chitosan into hemogrip. And what we're doing here is actually just adding fat molecules to the backbone of chitosan. It allows it to self-assemble to form physical seals when in contact with biological fluid and blood. This fat lies in wait until it comes in contact with blood. When that happens, the enhanced chitosan gets to work, forming a biological seal as strong as plastic wrap. Great, so this is your magic sauce. This is essentially your bio bandage in a bottle. Can we see it in action? Sure, let's go check it out. So Daniel, first, let's look at regular chitosan and its clotting properties. So Ian, why don't you add some blood to the chitosan and we're gonna pipette in that in, into a solution of, of regular chitosan, uh, mix it up for just a second, and then let's invert that vial. And we see when we mix it up with the blood, it remains as a freely flowing viscous liquid. However, when we add that same amount of blood into the same volume and weight of hemogrip chitosan, and we see that very quickly it forms a gel that holds its own weight upon vial inversion. Um, so here you can check it out. In this case, the modified chitosan clotted the blood immediately. Chitosan can make blood a million times more viscous than free-flowing blood. Arterial bleeding is the number one cause of death for soldiers today. Many victims would survive if there was a faster, more effective way to stop the bleeding. New technologies like this one are desperately needed to save lives. So Daniel, let me show you how hemogrip is going to be used on the field. Uh, the first application is a bandage uh, that we make by just taking that liquid that we saw on the bench top, freeze drying it into a material that looks like this. And this can be applied uh, for battlefield wounds, car accidents, and even for sur some surgical applications. So pretty incredible. You could put this directly onto a wound. It would sort of meld in there and stop the bleeding immediately. Right. It has really strong mechanical properties that allow it to form bandages like that. Around the world, 
13 million civilians also suffer severe trauma each year. Matt's developed a version of Kytosin that could help in everyday emergencies. We've developed a foam format. It's a sprayable foam format of Hemagrip. Why don't you take a stab at, at applying that okay. right on the bench? It's an, a sprayable expanding foam that can be used for irregularly shaped wounds and surgical wounds where patients have bleeding disorders. But getting the bandage on is only half the battle. Matt's figured out an ingenious way to get it off. Now, when you get a patient to the hospital and they have a hemogrip all over their wound, the trauma surgeon is going to want to be able to remove that quickly and easily so that they can identify the injuries and perform surgeries unimpeded. So we're going to actually have you add this reagent into the gel and then just give it a little mix. So incredible. Wow. So with this reversing agent, we can see that it's back to being liquid blood. So you have an on-off switch for bleeding. That's right. We can remove the hemogrip quickly and, and effectively. Now that you can actually reverse your biogrip, this is incredibly useful for the surgeon, for the emergency room physician, to actually see where the bleeding might be and actually go in there and fix the problem. The journey to the hospital is where patients are especially vulnerable. I wonder what a top trauma surgeon would think about this new breakthrough. What do you see the applications for something like this and the unmet need in the world of trauma? Some would say that our system applying pressure and using these machines is archaic. And this new device and its ease of application uh, really is a game changer for us because it stems bleeding. And again, hemorrhage is the major reason why people die in trauma. We anticipate that this will have applications. You could take this all the way down to your kitchen. And if somebody hurts themselves with a knife or a sharp object, they have hemorrhage. Instead of just holding pressure, they can apply this, and it will hold the bleeding until you can get to a hospital. So there's a huge unmet need here, Matt. When might we see this on the market? Well, all our hemogrip technologies we expect to see on the market within just a few years. The odds of surviving an accident are getting better, helped by scientists making molecular level connections that turn food waste from crustaceans into valuable products for the medical world.